urea cycle what will you learn from this topic introduction formation of urea steps in urea cycle from step 1 to step 5 enzymes involved in the urea cycle and clinical significance of urea cycle protein formation and breakdown are the key processes of life metabolism or breakdown of amino acid leads to the formation of ammonia ammonia is toxic to the body and in healthy conditions ammonia is converted to urea in the liver and eliminated from the body through the urine so urea cycle is the process of conversion of ammonia to urea urea contains two amino groups one from amino acid aspartate and one from ammonia urea cycle was first described by han krebs and kurt henselet in 1932 So the urea cycle is also called as Krebs-Henselet cycle. Urea cycle takes place in the liver. The ammonia formed from the breakdown of amino acid is transferred to liver and converted to urea which is excreted by the kidneys in urine. Urea cycle is a five step process involving five different enzymes. The first two steps take place in the mitochondria. and the next three in the cytoplasm coming to the steps in urea cycle step 1 is synthesis of carbamoyl phosphate this reaction takes place in the mitochondria a molecule of ammonia condenses with carbon dioxide to form carbamoyl phosphate in the presence of two atp molecules and carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 or the cps1 enzyme this is a irreversible reaction and rate limiting It is also the slowest step of the cycle. Step 2 involves formation of citrulline. This reaction also takes place in the mitochondria. In this step, the carbamoyl phosphate reacts with ornithin and the carbamoyl group is transferred to the NH2 group of ornithin to form citrulline. This reaction is catalyzed by ornithine transcarbamylase or OTC enzyme. Citrulline now leaves the mitochondria and enters the cytoplasm. Step 3 is the synthesis of arginosuccinate. Citrulline condenses with aspartate to form arginosuccinate in the presence of enzyme arginosuccinate synthesis. This is where urea gets the second amino group from that is aspartate. This step utilizes ATP molecules. Step 4 is the synthesis of arginine. Arginosuccinate is broken down to form arginine and fumarate by the enzyme arginosuccinate lyase also called as arginosuccinase the fumarate that forms participates in the TCA cycle and thus acts as a connecting link between the urea cycle and the TCA cycle step 5 occurs in the cytoplasm and is the formation of urea arginine is hydrolyzed by the enzyme arginase to form urea and ornithin ornithin enters the mitochondria and is reused in the urea cycle the urea that is formed is transported to the kidneys via blood and excreted in urine so the enzymes involved in urea cycle are two in mitochondria that is carbamoyl phosphate synthetase 1 and ornithine transcarbamylase three in cytoplasm that is arginosuccinate synthetase arginosuccinase and arginase the energy utilized in urea cycle is 4 atp molecules two in step 1 and two in step 3 clinical significance of urea cycle urea cycle involves the conversion of ammonia to urea any failure or disturbance in this cycle leads to accumulation of ammonia and the condition is called as hyperammonemia it is seen in conditions like hepatic encephalopathy pulmonary emphysema renal failure and hepatic coma clinical symptoms can be vomiting irritability lethargy and severe mental retardation hyperammonemia can be managed by using low protein diet antibiotics and lactulose administration so to summarize urea cycle is a conversion of ammonia to urea which takes place in liver it involves five steps Step 1 is synthesis of carbamoyl phosphate. Step 2 is formation of citrulline. 
Step 3 is synthesis of arginosuccinate. Step 4 is synthesis of arginine. And step 5 is formation of urea. These steps occur in liver cells. Step 1 and 2 in the mitochondria and step 3, 4 and 5 in the cytoplasm. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. We hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for further updates. Thank you for watching the video. See you in the next video. Till then, stay healthy and have an amazing week.